guys welcome to another video in this video i will discuss about handling status and status region fields which comes out of the box whenever you create a new custom table or if you are using an out of the box existing table from common data model using dataverse right so this is the you can see my screen this is the status field and this is the status region field sometimes people are confusing why there are two fields uh, in the to maintain status right let's take a scenario right status actually the field which stores the overall status of the record but the status region stores the actual granular region for the status example if a this is a uh, this is a table called as cards table here i store the uh, card information whether uh, a credit card or debit card and uh, i gen auto generate the card number right now when you create a new card the status is active and by default the status region is also active which is not you know not clearly understandable why both are active and uh, how we can leverage this uh, change the status for our business need now it's because <coughs> it's because you have created this record by default it is active active both now if you deactivate by clicking the deactivate button the uh, status becomes inactive and st status region becomes inactive right now this does not seem to be more relevant to our business need right also it is not correctly understandable why both are inactive right now for this scenario status is inactive means you are so you are okay right because there is no need of status region but in some scenarios if you need some granular region for a status then you can implement uh, status region uh, you can leverage this uh, status region field to use more granular level of status let's take a scenario when a new record is created new card record is created i want to uh, let's activate this so when you create a new card record by default the status will be active and the status region should be newly assigned or or assigned instead of active it should display assigned okay and when someone deactivate the card i want to give two three options uh, two three reasons why you want to deactivate one is expired so by default if you deactivate what happens it becomes inactive in the status and inactive in the status region right now i want users to choose what would be the granular region it may be expired it may be uh, lost it may be blocked right so how you can provide more regions for an inactive status and more regions to a active status we will discuss today right now let us go to dataverse to manage that first you have to go to the entity and go to the columns and navigate to the status if you click on the status which is a choice field you will find two items one is active and inactive active and inactive for active choice active uh, active level active item there there are set of uh, status regions for inactive there are set of status regions so status and status regions both are complementary complementing each other now if you click on status region you will find you will find here for active you can choose what options what what regions you want to give so let's say i want to instead of active as a status region i want to give uh, new card assigned right now this will be my reason why a card is active because new card assigned okay now, i don't want to add other items in the active status as a reason but in the inactive i can add more why a card is inactive maybe first reason is expired number two block and number three expired blocked and lost okay you can add more items also now user 
user once the user creates a new card by default the status becomes active and by default the region status region will be displayed as new card assigned but when user deactivates by default the expire status uh, is chosen but if user wants to choose blocked and lost you have to add the status region field on the form itself otherwise you have to add some command button to uh, update that we'll see that so this is how in the active status you can add more choice for reason for inactive status you can add more regions uh, for uh, uh, for choice right so click on save you can choose the default option also when someone deactivating what should be the default uh, reason someone is deactivating right you must choose one default action right so let's say expire right and in active also you can choose the default uh, choice if you have multiple reasons uh, for active status then you can choose which reason i have only one reason so that is default choice now click on save so i have successfully edited the status regions for active status and status regions for inactive status now let us see how the form activation and deactivation works now once it is published I will go here and try to press Control Shift R so that it will refresh, uh, hard refresh, uh, and uh, get information from the server again. Now you see inactive status and expired. Why it is showing? Because uh, for inactive status, status region may be expired and uh, expired, lost, and other things. Right? You can choose, but point here is user not able to file deactivating let me activate first to show you once it is activated you see the status becomes active and status region is a new card assigned right because it this is the default status region but when i change to inactive right user also can choose a status region let me unlock this i have already locked that field that's why uh, it is not allowing to uh, change the status region let me publish this i'm just um, uh, lift the or uh, making this editable so that user can select a status region while deactivating now let me press ctrl shift r right now it is active and by default the status region is new card assigned but once I will change or deactivate this, now I can choose a item here. Let's say it is blocked. So I can choose blocked and save it. And this way user can understand, yes, the card is inactive because of this reason, because it is blocked, right? So status and status region are very, very important in records to manage the status of a record. And if you are having such requirements to manage status of a record in any entity or table, do not create new uh, status fields rather use this status and status region because this is two is very two are very useful to manage status okay people are there who are creating new status fields but uh, always try to use this out of the box status which is created by microsoft and very very useful to maintain the status of a record okay also you can use another command button here uh, with a you know uh, drop down to change the status also right so let me go here and i can also add that that you can do using uh, model driven apps right if you want to add a command button here and on click of that button it will display uh, three items lost expired and uh, blocked then user can choose one and the status will be changed that requires some power effects to write but this way user can change manually the status reason and status also if you put status status region on the form header or form or form body okay so thanks for your time i hope you understand how status and status region used in our projects see you next time bye